Just no talking to him. a game I have to play without my glasses. Hey Jonathan, what's up? Good to see you. This is very nostalgic looking menu, even if I have never played this in my life. As uh, the prince, you, Arson, of playing janky old games, this one's good. Like this one's actually good. And I'm not just saying that as a Buffy fan, this is actually a solid game. You can use environmental takedowns, you can fuse your items together to make new items. And the game doesn't really, like, teach you that. It's just, you'll notice them in the menu and then think, Oh, I can combine holy water with elixir? What will that make? A holy elixir. And then a holy elixir heals both your health and, um, your power. Adventures in therapy, I'm over it. Adventures in therapy. Uh, also, I'm gonna increase the brightness just a bit more. Uh, I'm playing this on the original Xbox. I hate that we have to call it the original Xbox instead of, you know, the Xbox One. <laughs> okay. There we go. And I'm wearing my Buffy shirt. This is Sunnydale High School. Now, I have a cheat enabled uh, because this isn't where we left off last time I played this game. Also, if you're fighting vampires, you have to stake them. You have to. It's the only way to kill them. You can also shoot an arrow into them. But, uh, yeah, uh, we won't be using arrows as much for my playthrough. Xbox emulation is tough, uh, and find an Xbox alongside that game is unlikely. <laughs> this Buffy game isn't hard to find. It's Actually, the first one is, yeah. It was an Xbox exclusive, this one. And, like, that's why when I played it on the PS4 controller for the emulator, it felt so weird. Because I'm used to, like, going to your inventories like this. It, it's literally right under the A button, the white button. But, um, you have a limited inventory. And what's neat is how the combat works, right? You have a regular hit, you have, uh, like... So, like, here's your regular one, and then you have... Yeah, this. If you flick forward, it changes what the move is. And then if you go back, it changes the move as well. And then if you do a full rotation, it... You get this, right? Like, and that's how the... The attacks work. This is for kicking. A is for kicks. Uh, back kick is this. Just like Morrowind. Yeah, it's it's pretty neat. Like, I, I really dig that. And then, like, there's environmental takedowns for vampires. Anything that's made of wood can basically be used as a weapon against a vampire. Um, you stake them right in the wiener. Yeah, you don't have to stake them in the heart. But if you use arrows, you have to get them in the heart. It's an instant kill if you do that. Otherwise, you're just lowering their health. Also, you have to stake them. Um... And they have to bite you to kill you. You can lose all your health. Only certain demons can just kill you. But vampires, they have to bite you. Uh, do you use the Duke? No, but the Duke is here. It's right here. I'm using I'm using this controller. Hang on. I'm using this controller. Which is, it's green. It doesn't look like that on screen. But this is green. It's transparent. And then this is the Duke. Uh, the reason I have two is because I enabled a cheat that allows me to basically possess an enemy with the second controller. So we can get further, I dare you to Duke. I, bro, this game on the Duke is too much. Like, any game on the Duke. I played Jet Set Radio Future on the Duke, and what's funny about it isn't so much that it's cumbersome, it's the buttons. 
When you push the buttons, they, like, go into your finger and it hurts. Like, that's what I remember about the, the Duke most of all. Also, Marcus and I tried the Saints Row reboot co-op, and it works now. Can't carry any more potions. Alright, I guess I'll use one. Could come in handy. You can also fuse Hellfire with your arrows, so you get fire arrows or holy arrows if you use holy water. Uh, but what's really cool is you get a super soaker, and then you can put the holy water in the super soaker. And it's like, that's such a cool thing. Can't carry any more po- oh, this is holy water. Okay, hang on. Uh... Duke him. <laughs> Good to see they waited till after the launch to fix a critical part of the game. Uh-huh, there's still bugs, dude. It's still a buggy game, but... Maybe we'll play it for a bit later on. But as Marcus said, people specifically asked for me to play Buffy, so I'm gonna play Buffy. Also, I have a nice filter on for you guys. Lum is here for the Buffy stream! What's up, Lum? Oh my gosh, Lum, you missed the stream on Saturday. Uh, oh boy, that Saints Row game. But it's good to see you here. Also, I got 500 viewers on Saturday. Let's go. That was awesome. Um, that is currently the record for most views. Most live views. Hey, yeah! Uh, before that, my record was 389, and it was because Jordan Fringe raided. What happened Saturday? I played Saints Row Reboot, dude. Bugs and all. It was, it was interesting. And, but I finally fixed the accessibility to the point that it works the way I want it to. It's weird that I had to do that, but I'm glad you can. You had... You had to have broken a Twitch record on your profile. Uh, yeah. Can I not open this door? Where do I go? You distracted me, Lum. Why would you do this? <laughs> Willows. But yeah, okay, I know about that. Also, there's secrets in this game, too. So it's a good game now, right? Right? Uh, there's still bugs. Marcus and I encountered, like, clipping issues. Uh, I'm on the vampire side. Look, Lum, this game is awesome. Like, actually, this game is really, really good. Um, and it's because you can use anything as a, as a weapon, basically. Right? Like, anything made of wood can be used against a vampire. <laughs> the vampire side. I'm bored. Let's kill some. And the way combat works is the direction you flick the stick uh, relative to where you're positioned as well as the attack button. So you have your fists and you have... Also, I'm, I'm, I'm cheating, by the way. Uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, oh, is the game crashing? Did the game crash? Okay, I told you before too, the game's been giving me some issues. But I put a nice filter over it, so it, it's an HD quality. That's what's really cool about playing games on the original Xbox. It's not a crash. If this was on the PC, that would have crashed. But this is on the original Xbox. Not gonna lie, that does sound awesome. Yeah, right? Um, and you don't always want to be holding your stake either because they can take it out of your hand. They can stab you with your own weapons. Like, stuff like that. And I want you to know this game came out in 2002. Like, it doesn't feel primitive. It's actually pretty smooth. So it's just like Dead Rising. Kind of. Kind of. It's not as intricate as Dead Rising. I'm starting to take a real critical look at video games, and a lot of games now are limited in different ways. I know! I've been saying that, like, instead of letting you experience the game, they're trying to force you to experience it the way they want you to. And that's why I'm not a fan of it. It just, oh, okay, there. So see, I use the cheat. Basically, with the second controller, oh, I shouldn't have kept my stake out. Also, these are zombies, so I don't have to stake them. have to beat them to death. Break their skull and then that kills them. Yeah, I'm not fighting this thing with the AI in this game, because this game is hard. 
Uh, that's another thing I forgot to mention. This game is actually really difficult. And it's not because the controls. It's because you need to be spatially aware. Much like the show, I'd like to add. And that hit nothing. Like, I love Stray, but you couldn't really jump anywhere or go anywhere as the cat. Yeah, no. It's You're limited to what the game designers want you to experience. You're not allowed to explore yourself. Come on. They're too expensive to take risks. Yeah, the way games are made now, yeah. But that sucks. Have fun at Trips Raw. Trips Raw? <laughs> uh, hey, I'm on my way to the arena for Raw as I type this, so I won't be here for long, but want to catch as much as possible since I've been, like, begging you to play for months. Yeah, and I'm finally doing it, and you're not even here, man. We got Saints Row co-op to work, Austin, which is good news. So see the shovel? When in doubt, try a garden for also, uh, the voice actors in this game are all the original actors, except Sarah Michelle Gellar's Buffy. Uh, G Gazelle Lauren plays her, and she does a spot-on impression. What's up, Saints Flow? Uh, looking back, they had the cat on a set path where the cat couldn't fall off anything because, as you said, the creators want you to experience the game the way they want you to. That's most games today, and that's, that's why I'm... Yeah, right? I'm glad you're, you're noticing it. As I said, it's not just they want you to experience it a certain way. Thanks, dude. Yay. The game isn't completely broken. Yeah, uh, it, the co-op works, Saints Flow. My AIDS road just crashed seconds ago. Gotcha. Marcus and I got co-op to work, so that's good news. Yo, what's up, D.Va? Uh, unironically, the Buffy game is one of my favorite games of all time because it... It's one of those licensed games that accurately mimics the show. Come on. Ah, my weapon's gone. And the way combos are handled in this are really clever, too. Where, basically, your combo's always three hits, but the way in which you... Actually, no, I think there's ways around doing that. Yeah, you can flip them. It's really neat, I swear, this game is awesome. Like, actually, and it came out in 2002. One of those licensed games that's actually solid. Huh? I can't grab zombies? Probably pick the shovel up. Uh, yo, what's up? Co-op. Co-op. Yeah, co-op works, man. You know what I think this playthrough is going to be, funny enough? It might just be me getting back to where we were originally, and then it's like, okay, uh, yeah, let's do Saints Row. I'll be honest with you. I saw Sarah. Was, I thought Sarah was the actress here, right? No, nah, it's Gazelle Lauren. She does a really good impression of Sarah. It's scary. When they were going to make a Buffy animated series, they got all the actors back except Sarah. So they got the video game girl to voice her. And it's just so funny. And then in um, the sequel, Chaos Bleeds, Allison Hannigan couldn't come back to play Willow. So they got Gazelle Lauren to play Willow as well. And dude, she's she's just that good of a voice actress. She plays the two main leads. It's weird. Oh, man. But yeah. Oh, is the game going to crash? It crashed on me a couple times earlier today. Uh, and this is on the original Xbox. This is not... Oh, it crashed! Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, chameleon word. Hang on.
Oh, did it crash it? Did it just not work? L box. L box. <laughs> no one's day is going right. Nah, man, my day's been okay. Otherwise, I lost a follower. But who cares? <laughs> Ugh. I had to restart it again, so hang on, here we go. What's up, Diva? How is everybody? How are you guys? I feel like I haven't seen you guys in forever, even though I saw you guys on Saturday. Some of you guys, not all you guys. L follower, it's okay. Oh, man. Tis a money. Tis a monkey. Okay, game's working now. So should I put the cheat code back in, or, or are we just, we're just going in raw? <laughs> I'm still on the clock, I'm great though. You're on the clock?! Tick tock, on the clock, everybody non-stop. Ooh ah, ooh ah, oh. Ooh ah, ooh ah, oh. No, no, no uh, going in raw, Janiac 2022. <laughs> We're going in raw, no pull out. I think um, it was Daniel Tosh. He said, uh, in a... Wait, hang on, how come I can't hear the game now? Uh, he said, um... Something along the lines of, like, Well, girls... Oh, also, I, this is a boss fight. I really, I really should have thought of this. Yeah, so see how she picked up the weapon I was using? That's one thing that's really neat about this game. And see, okay, now, part of the weapon broke. And there's, like, the weapon has a health bar at the bottom if you look closely. Loving this techno music. Also, she's killing me. Okay, hang on. Why is the music quieter now? Uh, my therapist is on strike, so I can't get an appointment until the 22nd of next month. Dude, that sucks. I'm so sorry, man. Do you know why? I just delivered the last radioactive truck. My game crashed in the middle of the second I reached the circle, so I have to go across the entire map again. I am totally not in pain. I want you to know, Saints Flow, I haven't done any of the ventures because they sound like the most boring thing to do in a video game. I haven't done any of them. I've done all the other side activities. Those are fun. Like, because I am having fun with most stuff in the game. It's like, not even most, really. It's like 50-50. Every time they do something good, they do like something really dumb. That's how I'm, that's how my experience has been with um, that game. But, you know, we'll, 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 we'll talk about that game if, if I play it. Because I might play it later. I want to play it with Marcus later. Hope you guys don't mind. But I did want to play Buffy. I wasn't able to get back to where I was because I, I didn't realize until playing this game. Marcus and I got like like eight hours into the game. And I'm like, wow, we, we made it pretty far without cheat codes. Because this game is hard. Like, I'm, okay, I'm, I, I'm getting my butt handed to me. And she tried to grab me. But I jumped. And yeah, if you're wondering, uh, healing items, it's like Devil May Cry. You have to go into the menu. Okay, stake her. Stake her! I'm trying to pull the- Oh my gosh! I'm trying to pull my stake out. Don't you hate it when you- They won't let you pull it out? Anyway, okay. Stake her, stake her, stake her, stake her, stake her. Uh, yes, I despise the ventures. It's the 14th slow truck I'm delivering. Yeah, and there's another one after that. You okay, Will? There's one more, dude. I'm glad they're standing up for their beliefs or whatever, but like, they could have warned you. Wait, why are they? Oh, they're just on strike. Gotcha. Right. Don't let her beat you up, Jay. Have I? Are, are you guys familiar with that? In video games, even when I was a kid, I'd always lose to the female characters. Always. Like, without fail. My dad would always tease me for that. Um, in and it all started in Mortal Kombat uh, versus DCU, where Wonder Woman would do the splits, and then she'd like kick me, and then she'd like spin kick, and I don't know, I couldn't, I, I was defenseless, man. I tried every trick I knew, but I just kept losing. <laughs> you know, the game was fine. <laughs> Uh. 
today is cursed. <laughs> hey, Marcus, you there? Oh, and it didn't work again. Okay, hang on. Marcus! Oh, oh, hang on. Dang, Xbox, get it together. Yeah, Saints Flow. This is your console, man. What's happening? <laughs> Best console of the year. Best console of the year. They care about their 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 uh, consumers. <laughs> Too bad their console sucks. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh man, it was so funny. Saints Flow was talking to me about uh, like why Xbox was good, and then I'm like, bro, there's no games on Xbox. If you like shooting games and sports games, you're fine. If you like anything else. <laughs> I like how you keep calling Marcus like he's the CEO of Xbox and is able to fix this. I'm calling him so he's awake, because I know he's probably falling asleep. Wake up so we can play Saints Row. If this game just keeps crashing. Bonk. <laughs> There we go. You, you just gotta jimmy the disc sometimes, you know? Look, he, oh, he's got the holy water super soaker. Hey, Buff. I've been working on this bad boy for quite a while. I'm busy at the moment. Like the right time he's got his in. penis in his hand. <laughs> you, you'll have a hard time playing Saints Row with one hand. It's got two supply tanks, so you can switch between holy water and hellfire on the fly. Both very corrosive to demons and vamps delicate complexions. You do know your way around a slayer's heart. Gasp. Yeah, I don't know why he's watching me while he does it. <laughs> it also, if you're wondering why I'm making such, like, off-color jokes already, just, like, from the get-go, it's because if you go back to the original Buffy playthrough, it was, like, before Marcus and I really understood what we were going for in our respective streams. So we made a lot of dirty jokes, and I just thought... In spirit of our past selves from a year ago, which is the last time we played this game, it would only make sense, right? Back on 360, I had Far Cry crash once, then GTA 5 and Minecraft like twice each over the course of two years. Did you bring back any crystals? I was I'm not talking about the 360. What's wrong with you? I'm playing on the original Xbox. Now defend that. <laughs> Man, this console sucks. Well, the console after this is good. That doesn't help me, does it? Thanks, <laughs> Will. I believe we need to augment your combat skill. Please study the techniques illustrated on this page. Got it. Let the augmentation begin, as long as it doesn't require surgery. PS2 better than the OG Xbox, no debate. Some games don't run as well on the PS2, but the PS2 is better for so many other reasons. It's, it's like one of the best-selling consoles of all time, isn't it? Like, let's be real, and I really don't like Sony. Dude, uh, my camera is a Sony, and everything for that camera is so expensive. Like, so expensive. Anytime I let, like, sometimes um, we have to, like, carry stuff into any of the performances. So I give Victoria my camera, and I'm like, you better protect this with your life. She's like, I could probably buy you five of these. I'm like, but you can't buy me this one. Okay, because this one's mine, and it means something to me. I spent my first paycheck on that, okay? And I still don't have a lens. I still don't. I need one. Uh, okay, then I think I, I spoke to everyone so I can leave now. Also, you can lock things out of the game. If you don't talk to them and just leave, you'll never get those upgrades. Old school video games, am I right? Uh, in the second game, you can play as Faith. You can play as everyone. You can play as, um... You can even play as Xander, funny enough. The character with no superpowers. Burn, baby, burn. And look at that. A handy wall switch and a mausoleum. Something tells me it isn't for the ceiling fan. Open says me. Yeah. 
I think you have like a super punch if you double tap forward. Open says me. <laughs> Old school games. I've completely changed my mind about PS5 now. I shall live vicariously through Jay until all future Final Fantasy titles hit the PC. Uh, are they gonna... Is that a thing they're doing now? Because, yeah. Uh, honestly, the PS5... It's not bad. Like, I don't think it's a bad console. Um, the problem with it is just like... What's on it that's not also on PS4? Like, they released a console without exclusives, which is what PlayStation's all about. There's like five. And it's weird. Also, 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 uh, controllers cost more than games. But I don't think that's a PlayStation problem. I saw how much the Xbox controller was, too. It's the same price here in Canada. I know nothing about OG Xbox other than uh, The Rock revealed it. The Rock revealed this? No way. I never knew that. <laughs> oh, I forgot how young you are, Saints Flow. So, like, I was around when this game came out. Like, uh, when this when this console came out. So I played, I played all three of the original, um, so like GameCube, PS2, and Xbox. And I even played N64, play, PlayStation 1, uh, and Microsoft didn't have a console yet. I had a life when that was out, outside 12 hours a day. Nice, dude. You ever miss those days? Uh, I thought they were going to release new titles to PC, but then they said nah. We're not doing that, so I'm s still not sure if these Final Fantasies will stay exclusives or not. They might not, you know. Um, I think that, because Final Fantasy VII has been doing very well on PC. Oh, did he bite me? I do. Word. I'm so sorry the Thought Police destroyed Hungry. Curse those Thought Police. Is she a vampire or a zombie? Oh, she's a zombie. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering if I had to stake her and just punched her head off. Could come in handy. Man, this game looks good for you guys. For me, it looks like trash. So I put it through, uh, basically an adapter that switches it to uh, 1080p and then I put my usual filter for old games on top of that so it gets rid of the weird gray that a lot of old games had which it looks really good like I think it looks really nice can you not grab zombies oh you can look at that he turned into a paste and I think I go Turned him into butter like Dongan Ranpa. <laughs> Speaking of Dongan Ranpa, uh, we'll bring that series back once it's cold outside, okay? Because it is way too hot in the out the outfits, the outfits, the office. Uh, and we are not having three people in this room. Hannah was supposed to be here today, and believe it or not, she even said, "Please just stream Buffy." <laughs> There's like a pattern. I think it's middle left right. Get 
Wait, guys. There's just no talking to him. One thing I actually really appreciate about this game is uh, they gave Buffy basically, oh gosh, her most iconic outfits from the show. So this is just one of them. But every level she changes outfit. Numbskull. It killed itself. Canceling animations. Oh, you can burn them. Oh, I did not know that. This just became a lot easier. Come on. Let's hope the game doesn't crash. Okay. I think we're good. Demonic spiders at work. I should be able to torture nasty webfest with some hellfire. How do you keep firing a gun? <laughs> Sometimes in this job, I just have to say, ooh. I love her kick animation. Which one? Uh, the back one? Uh, there's this one. Uh, whoops, I did it again. Uh, there's regular ones. Like, it's, it's pretty neat that there's a variety. Like, it's funny, too, because, uh, as I said, there is a sequel to this one called Chaos Bleeds, where you can play as characters that aren't Buffy. And, like, Willow's overpowered, which makes sense, because in the show, she learns how to use magic. And you can basically create your own sunlight that instantly kills vampires. And they didn't think that that might be something you should hide behind, like, leveling up or unlocking it by practicing or something. But no, you just, you just have that move. Because uh, that's what's really cool about Willow. Um, she gets a spell book, and the spells tell the player how to do the moves. But if you already know how to do them at the beginning of the game, you can do them. Like, they're not locked behind getting those pages. Even this game, all the combos are there at the very beginning. 
All of them look fluid and smooth. Yeah, they do. I think they mo-capped for this. I think. It's like Xbox was trying to push that at the time, which is why this game was an Xbox exclusive. The sequel was not. But the sequel also crashes so much on every console. The GameCube, I think, is the, the best one to do. Wait, whoa. Like, the best one to play that on? But yeah, earlier you were mentioning um, Final Fantasy. I wonder... Like, Kingdom Hearts wasn't a PlayStation exclusive. So... It could protect like I mean, they could just make Final Fantasy do the same thing, right? Unless I guess Disney was the reason they didn't make it an exclusive. But it is weird that the first Kingdom Hearts game on Xbox is Kingdom Hearts three. Like, what a terrible way to start. And I think like Devil May Cry, the first one that wasn't on Xbox was Devil May Cry five. Same related fun fact, the only reason Saints Row 1 was an exclusive is because development was super tight and they couldn't optimize everything in time. Ah! Yeah, because wasn't it supposed to be a Punisher game first? And then they changed everything? So, yeah, it makes sense. God, they didn't name it bling bling. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine if the original title stayed? That sounds more appropriate for the reboot. Yeah. Trying to be relevant. Could you imagine if the original title of Saints Row stuck? And then you get like Saints Row 4 where you're superheroes, but it's still called bling bling. Saints Row. Nothing like a brisk walk in a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. Hipster's Alley. Like, actually, though. It's like, we are the saints. We're so tired of middle, man uh, middle management. We're so tired of capitalism. And we're gonna stick it to the man. What? Also, you have characters say, like, yes, you know, we care about the greater good. We care about the, the people around us. And we want to protect people. I'm like, you're not heroes. You're killing people. Every single mission requires you to do something that goes against your character type. And it, it, it goes, like, beyond ludonarrative dissonance because the characters speak about the things they do. Kevin literally says, am I a bad person for doing this? Like, think of all the kids. And then the protagonist says, F those kids. Literally says that. That's an actual line in that game. But then they try to act like they're the heroes. It's so weird. You never should have walked into my slate ground. Could come in handy. I need a heal. If the apocalypse comes, beat me. Nice. Buffy reference. How are you, semi-durable? This game looks like modded Soul Reaver, and I'm all for it. Dude, I knew you'd like this. I, I had a feeling. I'm like, Saints Flow might actually really dig this game, because it's... It, Uh-oh. Oh, no! You're not allowed to like games anymore, okay? They keep crashing anytime you say positive things. <laughs> now I'm playing. But yeah, like, it has that old-school feel to it. This is my town. That, like, I, even Arson came in and he's like, yo, this feels so nostalgic even though I've never played this game. And it's like, yeah, it, it has that retro vibe. 
And as I said, I love that you can pick up, like, different weapons and use them. And I like that the enemies can use the weapons against you, too. Like, that's so cool. For me, it reminds me of the game, uh, The Warriors. Quite a bit. Uh, made by Rockstar. The combat feels like that game. And even in Warriors, I think you could pick up anything as a weapon. This game gets hard, bro. It's ridiculous how difficult- Why is this game T-rated, bro? Like, I- Semi, when I was playing this, like, off-stream, I used cheats. Like, you know the cheat in the game where you can have a second player- Hey, three months! Thank you so much, Trey! How are you? Oh, it's so good to see you, man. How are you? And how's Ghost Spider? Good to see you, man. Thank you for subscribing, by the way. Three months. Time flies. These spiders, man. These spiders are the bane of my existence. You have like, and I hate using uh, Hellfire because it, you're wasting a resource that isn't renewable. But yeah, uh, she's getting ready to go back to school. Nice. Yeah, September soon, eh? How have you been though? Uh, and yeah, semi adorable. This game gets difficult to the point where like I I have to use cheats. Um, I've never finished this game fair and square, which is what I'm going to do on stream. It's just I'm trying to get back to where we were. We were at the quarry last time we played this game, which was a year ago. <laughs> Recently, I looked at Kingdoms of um, Amalur, and it awoke something in me. I'm starting to crave these old school games, low poly games. Yeah, man. Anytime people do retro games, they always go back to 8-bit or 16-bit. But there is a lot of charm in these low poly PS1, PS2 era games. Funny enough, uh, No More Heroes, uh, Travis Strikes Again, the spinoff, calls back to these games when it goes back to, like, retro games. And I'm like, that's cool. That's really cool that, like, games from the 2000s were considered retro to Travis in that game. So you got to play a low-poly-esque game, which is neat. Because a lot of the time, these games, like, even, like, Destroy All Humans, these games were fully realized ideas. That weren't held back by a studio. Someone had an idea, and then everyone went through with it. Okay, I use a holy elixir. I can use cheats? I've been stuck at the high school level. The high school level? Cakewalk. <laughs> yeah, you can put in a cheat that allows the second player... Because I have a second controller. I have the Duke. Look, here's the original Xbox controller. Uh, I'm not playing on it, though. The second controller can control the other characters around you. So I use that to stop enemies and then I can just kill them to make it this far so quickly. The only good spider is Ghost Spider, right? Yeah, of course. Dude, pray for my back. Been having massive back pain lately. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. Okay, I will. I will, Trey. I'm so sorry, man. Did you get into an accident? Have you, is it the way you're sleeping? Maybe you need a new mattress. I used to have terrible... Bro, why didn't this burn? I used to have terrible back pain, and then I switched mattresses. Uh, meanwhile, today, someone has an idea and they scrap every other idea for it. <laughs> you know, sometimes in this job, I just... And they're like, let's just do what that studio did. It'll make money. Go, Buffy. What, like, semi, 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 semi. When did Buffy, okay, I, I was about to say, when did Buffy have demon spiders? It did. And if you count Angel, they had, like, giant demon spiders. Do I not have it? Okay. Good. Open sesame. Don't know, maybe it's all a part of me getting old. Ah, oh, don't you hate when that happens? <laughs> Check this out. Ooh. You can even use torches, man. They thought of that because they knew that some people might run out of uh, holy fire. And I always thought that was clever. Like, so you're not just locked? Like, soft locked? You, you can actually get out? Welcome to my sleigh ground makes me cringe every time. You should have never stepped into my sleigh ground. 
Uh, my favorite quips that she has in this game, and like, Chaos Bleeds has better quips in my opinion. And I prefer this game, but like, Chaos Bleeds has some great ones. Uh, from all the characters, because everyone has their own, like... They all approach the situations differently depending on who you're playing as. Like, Willow would not have the same dialogue as Buffy. But, uh, Xander's dialogue is really funny. <laughs> Where it's just like... It's like, I keep finding these health packs, what is this, a video game? <laughs> uh, actually the character looks more like the movie actress, uh, in this. Did Sarah Michelle Gellar do the voice? No! Um, everyone else- Uh, game crashed! How about I do five squats every time this game crashes? Um, but yeah, everyone else was voiced by the same actor or actress from the original series, except Buffy. Buffy's voiced by Gazelle Lauren. Uh, who also voiced her in the sequel, and she even voiced Willow in the sequel, too. And, uh, she voiced Buffy in the animated series pilot. So whenever Sarah wasn't available, Gazelle Lauren did the voice. Your thighs will burn. Yeah, they will. Uh, welcome to- uh, okay, wait, hang on. I remember playing this game with Marcus, and the game would crash all the time too, but I thought that was because of the PC. Okay. Thought it was because of the PC. It'll start. It'll start. Give it a sec. Um, but apparently no, it's just it's just the game that just crashes. Uh, oh, so it is it is the TV show character. Yeah, yeah, it is. It crashes on every loading screen. Your thighs will burn. It doesn't crash every... That one didn't even need a loading screen, Lum. Exercise? Gross. <laughs> if this game doesn't start, bro. I guess it showed me. We're playing Saints Row if this game if this game just I mean I want to at least go for now. Oh okay, the game's back. Game's back. <laughs> How are you, Semi Dorable? It's good to see you. I'm glad you made it to the Buffy stream. What are you up to? For those who don't know, Semi Adorable and I, Semi was a fan of mine from uh, the days I used to talk about Victorious. And, uh, yeah, uh, then we, like, I did streams and then she showed up to the Life of Strange stream and then followed me to Twitch. And would you know, we have everything in common. Semi Adorable and I are twins. We're like variants of each other. It's crazy. Uh, bro, who was bragging? on Xbox. Who was bragging on Xbox? What, back in the day? If you were a fan of Halo, that was the that was the killer app. And it's funny too, because they didn't even think it would be Halo. They thought it would be Blinks. The time cat. Uh, the one where the cat can rewind time. I'm eating Arby's. Oh, get those curly fries. I don't know what else they sell. I think they sell like meats. Have you guys seen that clip of Mark Zuckerberg? Saying I used to be human. Sorry, I think I mentioned this before, but I just I just want to hold on that real quick. Also, if you look at the bottom uh, bottom left, whenever I move, the torch's flame moves with me because it's actually the object that's uh, at the bottom. Which is why whenever you pick up a stake that's differently shaped or sized, let, let's say you take a broom and you snap it in half, which you can do in this game, you can use that as uh, a stake. And then it'll look like half of a broom instead of a steak steak. What's happening? Am I stuck? Oh, okay, I just had to kick it. <laughs> I'm glad Mark is starting to accept his alien heritage. <laughs> it's like, yeah. It's like, I'm not part of this marketing organization, and I used to be, and it's like, yeah, what I'm trying to make this comfortable for church. humans, which I used to be. <laughs> or which I was, like... <laughs> Uh, 
Did you see, like, he unveiled uh, some sort of VR chat? Oh, come on. OMG, I have, have to see this clip. Oh, man, Lum, it's so funny. Because <laughs> then he slips up and he's like, oh, no, I meant, I meant which I am. It's like, sure you did, buddy. Sure you did. So, uh, Semi, this is the hardest part for me. This level is the hardest level for me. Like, from what I remember. I, I think you go to Angel's house after this, which is, in my opinion, the best level in the game. Where uh, you there's sunlight, so you can throw the vampires into the sunlight. Which is just such great level design. Like they, and, and when you run into the sunlight, they don't run after you. They're not stupid. The AI the AI in this game works better than the AI in Saints Row. Think about that. Also, I have to stake these guys. Did that not work? Remember these guys from the show? That's a joke. That Buffy never fights those monsters. She fights others, though. Look at that. A big okay, it's literally Spool, uh, Soul Reaver. Spool Reaver! Spool Reaver! When did Soul Reaver come out? Uh, that game's great, by the way. The only game that ever thought of a creative way to do death. Where when you die, it takes you into a different realm of the level you died in. Oh god. This game. This game. This game. This game. Uh, throw! Throw Buffy! And that's the other thing. Don't throw Holy Fire in front of yourself. It will burn you. Is he not dead? Bro. Really? I have to stake him. I like that they they did the uh, the death sound from the show. Yeah, like it's it's so cool. So uh, gratifying to so gratifying to throw them and watch uh, the them combust the combustion. Yeah, in Angel's level, that's my favorite level in this game because I remember thinking, oh, I guess there's just not going to be any levels in this in the daytime, and there is. <laughs> Did these guys just respawn, Semi? Do you remember? Do you remember this game, Semi? Then again, you, you were stuck at the high school level, right? Bro. Just die. Just die, dude. Okay. Uh, that also had the light and water mechanic for vampires. Interesting. I guess it if you're gonna if you're gonna take elements from another game, it might as well be something like that if you're fighting vampires. That's pretty cool, though. Um, 1999 for the PC, for, uh, PC release. Why is it that we got everything legendary at the end of the 90s? Like, Half-Life, half of the games today can't outperform them. I don't know. Like, I don't know what happened. I think it became a, a, a marketing thing, man. It became, like, how much money can we make instead of, like, hey, man, wouldn't this be cool? <laughs> Yeah, I've never made it all the way through. Uh, truth be told, I've never beaten this game, as I said. Without cheats, I've never beaten it. The last world in this game is so weird. Like, it, it's like an LSD trip. Like, flat out. And I don't know why they put it in a Buffy game. Because it doesn't fit at all. Okay. Also, uh, this game takes place during season three of the show, if you were wondering. And then the sequel takes place during season five, which is also an interesting thing for a game to do, because it's based on a TV show. So, this game doesn't spoil much. It spoils that, like, Cordelia becomes part of the gang, but that happens in season two. Um, but it, the second game, the opening shot, spoils so much. Evil chuckles, yeah. The focus shifted to graphics and physics versus the game engine and story and plot. Well, what's funny is, though, in the past, it wasn't about story and plot. It really wasn't. The plot of this game is stop the vampires. Like, bro. <laughs> it wasn't really about story and plot. It was about making a game fun. And I think that's what's missing now. It's not... Oh, God. That would have killed me. It, it, it's not about having fun anymore. 
or at least the idea of fun isn't what it used to be, where today the people who are playing games probably wouldn't be caught dead playing the games that we used to play way back when, because they were either too hard or not visually appealing enough, which is why that shift happened, more than likely. No, Half-Life still has better physics than most games. It does. Uh, yeah, for those who don't know, Half-Life is, to this day, one of the most uh, revolutionary physics-based game. And what's interesting is, it still holds up. Anytime they make a new game, they don't change much, because it was just that good when it came out. Uh, if you ever get the chance, play Half-Life, because no playthrough is the same. Like, legit no playthrough is the same. There's still- the, the objectives are the same, but how you go about them can be up to you completely. And I think that is the one game with the most freedom I've ever played. Second probably being Saints Row 2, funny enough. I'm dead. Nope. Nope. Buffy! She just- <laughs> The ground's falling under her. Uh-oh. Watch my step. <laughs> No, uh, some games feel like chores these days. Yeah, the new Saints Row! Semi-adorable, I want you to know, every franchise that I was a fan of is dead now. They're all dead now. <laughs> she sounds so unbothered. Oh me, oh my, the ground is falling. I love the power-based moves in this. It's really cool. I think some gamers get tired of realism. Yeah, some, but not the general populace. Case in point, people like the new Saints Row. And, and like... It's weird the defenses they give, because you weren't here- Yo, Lum, you weren't here. Anytime someone's new in chat, I always try to be nice, but someone came in and said something that actually triggered me. And it wasn't like racist or sexist or homophobic. It, like, it triggered me, okay? Because what they said was, Why are people mad about the new Saints Row plot? Saints Row's plots have never been groundbreaking. And I'm like, what? So I proceeded to summarize basic story points from the first two games. And it's like, dude, no, the plots were amazing. But it's fans like you that convince the, the creators that it's okay not to care. And that's why it bothered me. It's not so much what they said, but the fact that so many people believe that to be true. Yeah. Uh, she sounds so unbothered. Uh, oh yeah, I was there for that. It was funny, because I'm like, and I literally said, I'm like, get out of here. Like, leave. Please, leave. <laughs> You're the reason my franchise is dead. Get out of here. Should I use? I'll use a holy elixir. And then I'll combine holy water. Because you can combine items in. I probably should have done that. Uh, you can combine it. And now you have a holy elixir. Which is so cool. Yes, Buffy. Attack him with your sense of humor. Oh, I keep forgetting the throw button is Y. Stop, stop. He did. Nice. Guess you wish you'd stay home tonight. Dang, Jay. No, bro, I wasn't having it, man. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Like, man, the plots were never good. That's not an excuse to make a modern game's plot bad. And even then, the old game's plots were good. <laughs> I grew up playing Grand Theft Auto. I've never actually sat down to play Saints Row. Send me adorable, please. I beg of you. Look. Look. Honey. Darling. Twinny. It's one of my favorite games ever. It's one of my favorite games ever. And you're my twin? You probably like it. You like all the games I like. I like all the games you like. Okay? What are, what are my top seven, guys? What are my top seven? Come on. Let's see how, how smart you guys are. Number one, you guys know it. That's right, Jack and Daxter. Good job, guys. <laughs> Twiniac. That's Semi. Only Semi gets to gets to be referred to as Twiniac. Buffy is not like, I know you, you can't, like, eat steak, but I'm gonna... If you come to Canada... I'm gonna get you the best steak in town, okay? You you deserve that. You deserve that. I want a twin. Uh, well, we have a new member in um, the Twitch chat that's from California. Uh, you weren't here for that that part of the stream, but yeah. Uh, and uh, even Austin was like, "Oh snap, Jonathan! Jonathan has a has a fellow Californian now." Cause no one else is from Cal. Like, is is uh, is Linda from California? 
Whoa, how come I didn't get the best steak in town? Because we didn't meet up, bro! If we met up, I would have taken you to the, the real McCoys, man. That's the place to go. You ever been there? It's in Scarborough, where I used to live. And, like, it's really good. They'll make anything for you. They'll make pizza. Put some steak on the pizza if you want. Some weird stuff. They make weird stuff, but I love it. 28. I don't blame you, though. Well, sorry, not sorry. I See, I knew you'd understand, love. But yeah, so uh, Jack and Daxter, number two is Final Fantasy VII, the original, not the reboot. I like the remake, though. It's not a reboot, it's a remake. I, I like it, though. Um, and then Saints Row 2. That's my third favorite game of all time. Uh, and then number four is Sunset Overdrive. Number five is No More Heroes. Number six is uh, Jet Set Radio Future. And then number seven. Number seven. Beyond Good and Evil. Sometimes you want to play a game, but the game is really playing you. This one Twitch streamer decided to play his favorite game on stream, and what happened was something he didn't expect. Number 15. Burger King foot lettuce. Hey, pointy wooden object. My best friend. If you like, hi, my name is Chills, and today I'll be going through the fifth top 15 places to eat in Toronto. Number 15. The real McCoys. If you're looking for the finest steak, then you want to go to a place you recognize, a place that treats you properly. Yeah, man. Chill's voice. Love the guy. Love the guy. No hate. This isn't- this isn't hate. This isn't hate. Like, I, I actually really like Chills. He's cool. He's like, Just so everyone knows, I made a music video the other day, but don't watch it. Please, don't. Of course I watched it, and I'm like, actually, it's not bad. Also, I love that grab in this is its fighting game grab. Like, I, I love that. You push light, you push two attacks together to grab. It's, it's great. And it's very responsive, these controls, too. That's it, Beyond Good and Evil. I downloaded it. Yeah, Beyond Good and Evil. Have you, yo, you're gonna love that game. Like, that game is really good. It's, it's, it's very, it's like, again, it's an idea fully realized, because it's a weird game. Like, what do you compare it to? It's like kind of stealth, and then kind of action, and then kind of like driving and piloting. Like, it's a lot of things, and then you're taking down a uh, government. Like, it's a weird game. There's no game like Beyond Good and Evil. Um, and then, like, I'd put Buffy at like number, number eight, and then number nine, uh, I don't know, but number 10 is wet. <laughs> My 10th favorite game of all time is wet. Not a good game. Love it, though. I will forever be a keg fan because I worked there for years. The keg is good. The keg is good. Um, I think the only thing I'm not a fan of is the price. But other than that, the keg is good. You will not get a bad steak at the keg. Like, never. We're like, like, uh, Jack Astor's or, uh... What's another, like, chain? The other chains, their Another steaks are like... You have to ask them to season it, bro. Like, what? Bro. <laughs> what kind of bakayad ting is this? Yeah, keg is pricey, uh, no doubt. Yeah, it is. But I, I do like everything on their menu. I haven't had a bad meal from the keg. Uh, Baton Rouge has messed me up a couple times. Too many. One time's too many. I've had bad meals at Baton Rouge. Rouge. So, we always went to the keg instead. OMG, that voice. I downloaded one of the games you recommended, but I can't remember the name. Yeah, Beyond Good and Evil. Uh, did she just fall? I think we're okay. He's iconic just for that voice. He is, though. Uh, healing and healing is, wet in, is iconic. Yeah, kill people or uh, take a swig. I want to do a swigless run. Uh, golden bullets wet where one bullet kills everybody. I die in one shot, they die in one shot. And never take a swig. Cause like there's no point. Mind you, I think in the first cut, like the first level, you 
it's not one bullet, it's after that that it's one bullet. But like, just like, Dante must die mode, like, oh my gosh. How do I reload on my fire? Unless I, I need a torch. I need an Atrazion. Oops. Uh, McGregor's meat? Wait, hang on. Hang on. Even I love Beyond Good and Evil. There's so much to that game. There is! And like I said, name another game that's like Beyond Good and Evil. Because I can't. Is it, is it Crash Bandicoot now? What's happening? <laughs> uh, what is this now? We're almost where we left off last time. I, I, I'd love if this stream was just me getting to where I was. Even though I skipped the first two levels because I, I did that off screen. Uh, yeah, keg is pricey, no doubt it is. Uh, do they have sizzlers in Canada? Sizzlers? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, keg typically gets the best cuts from uh, Kara Foods and McGregor Meats. I didn't know that. Dang, she really stomped out a spider. Yeah, giant spider. She didn't even lift her leg high enough for it. I think I can throw them into this force field. Yeah, you can kill them by throwing them into the force field. I remember always thinking that was really cool. Uh, I'm attempting to uh, steak fajitas in a few days. Pray for me. Yeah, I know. I know it's hard for you to eat that, but I'm glad you're able to uh, keep food down, semi durable. That's really good news, by the way. It sucks not being able to eat your favorite things. Did you see that? I was playing keep up. I don't know what happened to my voice. She's the goat. Ooh, Buffy? <laughs> or semi. <laughs> I'm hoping I'll be able to tolerate it now that my pain is under control. Yeah, I'm glad that they were able to sort that out with you. So you have, so like, how does it work? Do you mind me asking? It's like a, a pump is inside of you that like that helps you cool digest food. Somewhere. Both, oh, word. Right answers only today from Lum. She's a she's a star student that Lum. That hood Lum. <laughs> Yo, you know one game I actually want to stream one day? Rayman 3. I really liked that game when it came out. And it's funny because everyone was telling me, Yo man, Rayman 2 is the best Rayman ever. It's the best 3D Rayman. I like Rayman 3 better. And everyone hates me for saying that. But honestly, Rayman 2 is, like, it's so dark, and I mean literally I can't see what I'm looking at. It's just a dark game, and the themes are dark for a cartoon, which is impressive. I'm glad they were able to do that. They basically pulled a Jack 2, but it, it worked in favor of the franchise. And then, like, Rayman 3 was a Saturday morning cartoon, and I kind of prefer that, for that franchise at least. And it's a long game, too. Hoodlum. Yeah. Hoodlum, oh, RPG. So far, no crashes. That's good news, right? This looks like it's going to fall down. Hey, I'm back. What's up? How you doing? Also, Trey. Oh, jeez. Oh, I can't. Uh, oh. Oh. Camera. Camera. Camera souls.
Whoa, there was a secret in here. Wow. Uh, great. What's up, Marcus? Marcuccio. I have two implants. Uh, one sends shocks to my stomach to reduce nausea. The other one pumps morphine into my spinal cord every few seconds, giving pain relief. My stomach is still just as slow, but now that the symptoms are treated, I'm able to eat more. That's awesome. I'm, I'm so happy to hear. Like, that must be weird. Can you feel that? You can feel that, right? Do I want to go down here? No. Also, you take fall damage in this. Which is weird, because in the show, Buffy really doesn't take fall damage. She jumps off of really high things. It's one of those games I would have been okay if there wasn't any. It's a really weird sensation. I can imagine. Does it do them at the same time? Of course. They're tripping o over themselves. I had to Google the name, but uh, 2003 Primal visually reminds me of uh, Beyond Good and Evil. Visually, but I mean like gameplay-wise. Uh, Primal from 2003? Primal. Uh, that is the PS2 game. Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. Someone referenced Primal. Someone referenced Primal. Uh, that's the PS2 game that I have tried to play for as long as I've lived. On the original PlayStation 2, I started it, got bored, stopped playing. PS3, they re-released it. I played it. St got bored, stopped playing. PS4, they re-released it. I played it, got bored, stopped playing. I have it downloaded on my PS5. It's just sitting there. And I'm like, one day I'll play this game. <laughs> That's the one with uh, Jennifer Tate. And she meets a gargoyle guy. And it's just boring then. The combat portion of the game happens too late for me to be invested in it. Right. Where everything else is just really slow walking around and doing puzzles. Like, it's slow. And I remember not liking that. But every time I, I've tried to play it, and I get a little further, maybe I'll stream that game one day, Primal. Any of you guys ever play that Skittles video game? It's actually really good. Like, it's, it's a really funny game. We're in a fantasy world, and she, she knows she's in a video game. Yeah, Primal. Primal looks visually similar? I don't think so. Primal's very uh, Castlevania-esque. Uh, personally, from what I've seen. It's very... It's very Castlevania-esque. Where uh, Beyond Good and Evil is like... It's the future, but it's not. <laughs> and it, it's like Earth, but it's not. You know what I think is funny? The rhinos are Jamaican. It's my favorite thing about that game. It's like, I've never seen Jamaicans depicted as rhinos. But uh, yeah, they work at Mamago's. And they have a, a little jingle that plays. Hey, yo, did you hear they're making a Gravity Rush movie? A Gravity Rush movie, guys. Gravity Rush. You know the game where no one speaks English? Like, no one speaks a real language? probably gonna get Zendaya to play cat the protagonist but then they'll have to have a cat to play the cat dusty all I want in life is to beat eternal darkness sanity requiem that's a good game too that's a really good game Saints flow you ever play that one uh, eternal darkness it's a horror game it like it it's it messes with your TV settings like it's it's a really good one well it like fake messes with them which now doesn't work because TVs don't look like that anymore 
I need a physical copy because the emulated one won't let me past a certain chapter. Uh, I wish I knew where to buy a copy of that game. Even my game guy, he doesn't have a physical copy of that. From what I've been told, it's not easy to come by. Oh wait, I came here. It's so good and I need to know how it ends. I love that you're not looking up the ending. You're just like, no, I want to experience how it ends. There's another one? Oh my gosh. Because I saw the health bar up here. I'm like, what? I hate the spiders in this game. Who thought this was a good idea? I know, we'll put spiders in. Squish. <laughs> How, that wasn't still on fire and it burnt me. If I look it up, what the? I can't touch it? Oh. That was weird. Oh God. Also, if you save survivors- Oh no, did they kill her? If you save survivors in this game, they give you stuff. It's another thing in this game. If I look it up, it means I've given up on uh, procuring it. That's true. The journey's over. I get it. No, don't touch me. Just don't. Help me. Don't touch me. Just don't. Like, don't touch me. Yeah, that guy's dead. Go Buffy. Go Buffy. The cringe. Could come in handy. I need fire again? Oh. This game is relentless. Which means I have to go all the way back. Oh! Also, Semi, if you want tips on how to beat this game's, uh, that, um, the high school level, lure the vampires into areas that have environmental takedowns. It makes the fights a lot quicker. I played through, uh, the X-Files video game on PS2. It's basically the original Resident Evil. Yeah! They, they really just ripped off Resident Evil for that one.
Ah, I didn't see him. That's my favorite line of hers in this game. I put tons of hours into Wind Waker recently. What do you think of that game? Also, Semi Adorable, what is your favorite game of all time? And Lum 2 and Trey, BRB. Okay, you can tell me later. Keep your secrets, Trey. <laughs> Whatever, you think I care? You know, those who pass by your mangled corpse. You called me? Yeah, what's your favorite game of all time? And Saints Flow, if you're still there. Everyone in chat, tell me what your favorite game is. Should I stream it? I shot him with an arrow. That's a wrap. You actually don't need to stake them. Uh, my favorite are classified as things I can go back to repeatedly over time. So Final Fantasy VII or Final Fantasy X, it's a tie-in. Uh, but I've actually played ten more. Interesting. You know, it's funny. Uh, for, like, games you can go back and replay all the time. I don't regularly play my favorite games numerous times. Like, it's funny. I honestly believe I've played Wet more times than most of my favorite games. But that's because Wet is, like, a short game you can just go back into. Um... But, like, I, I guess my favorite for me personally, I, I usually mark it by how I felt while playing it and, like, how memorable it was, where I still think about it to this day. Yeah, that is interesting. How often do you actually replay your favorite game? Think of it, yeah. So, if memory serves correct, this part was really hard because you have to fight like three guys at the same time, I think. Favorite is actually one I am very bad at Alice Madness Returns, sequel to America McGee's Alice. I also adore Portal 2. Uh, Arson has been playing the Alice games recently and he, he's really enjoying it. Yeah, have you ever played the first one? Final Fantasy X made me cry. I always say X or FFX. Right, the falling ceiling. Time to dash. Uh, which part made you cry? The ending? You are becoming quite a nuisance, girl. Oh look, the grave robber speaks. Yeah, the ending. Gotcha. It's pretty good. Did you cry when, uh, in Final Fantasy VIII when Squall caught Renoa in space? Because, you know, they want you to cry at that scene. That's the scene you cry at. It's so weird. Where is he? There he is. 
Yeah, this guy, this guy's a pain. No, Buffy. Look at that. Look at that. Now, how did I cheese this last time? Because I don't have the cheat activated for second player controller. I could just restart and do it, but no, we're not doing that. I'll put it on when 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 the game crashes, because you know what's going to happen. There he is. What the? Why is he cheating? Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I think I rolled my eyes on that scene. Yeah, uh, Renault and Squall. Is that doing anything for you? <laughs> Spraying you with water, that doing anything for you? Oh, it actually does do damage. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. He's not a vampire. I hate this boss so much. Just, just. Is the game doesn't know who you're locking on to. And then he does stuff like this! Bro! Okay, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Ah! I remember uh, Buffy Speedrunner came into uh, my gameplay when I was playing with Marcus and he said... You can one-shot these zombies with one of your moves. It's forward, forward, and then punch. I feel okay. like a new slayer. Okay, where is he? I swear I'm blocking, bro. Go. 360! Ah, oh, and then he teleports! He's almost dead. Punch him in the balls, punch him in the balls. Fighting dirty. Do I have to stake him? No. The rites must be complete. And nobody around to bring you back from the grave. What a drag, huh? As a child, I mostly played Jet Set Radio, Snowboard Kids, Pokemon yeah, Stadium, Ape Escape, and Banjo Kazooie. Ape Escape? There's a game I haven't heard of in a ever. I hated Renoa because she annoyed me the most. You know, in every fan work I've seen, they change Renoa's personality because her original is so bad. To make her the love interest was unforgivable. <laughs> unforgivable. He was giving you the hands, cannot lie. I know! The bosses, it's funny. Like, you'll die more by regular enemies in this game because they throw a lot at you. But the bosses combo potential is insane. And if you play as them on the second controller, you have all those abilities. So it's like, why did they give them all this? I killed him and then crushed his bones so that he couldn't ever come back. This is so not happening. I fear that it is. You see, you're crushing the master skeleton any further attempt to reanimate him as a being of flesh and bone. But it is possible that a skilled necromancer could resurrect him in a disembodied state, as a kind of phantom. On the bright side, however, the master would be in a relatively weakened state in this spectral form. Ape Escape was a great the game. It was. I really like Ape Escape 3. Resurrection at a Too bad you point. can't play it anymore. Guessing, aren't you? Call it an um, hypothesis. 
Frankly, what truly baffles me is Spike's involvement in all this. All of this, the, the, the regrouping of the Order, the, the summoning of Materiani, the, the possible resurrection of the Master. I mean, logic dictates that this isn't Spike's plan. But if not Spike's, then whose? And to what dark purpose? Wait, wait. The Master was in a dream I had the other night. That's not a huge surprise. He's made dream cameos before that didn't mean anything. But maybe there's more to it. Besides the Master, there were these three nasty demons, like the patron saints of S&M and self-mutilation or something. They had these weird symbols on their noggins that looked something like this. She just it drew it. It be a, a sigil of some kind. I'll add this to the research I'm doing on the tattoos worn by those two distinctive vampires you fought. Hey, Giles, maybe I should work with this talisman. If I can master the spell that controls it, I might be able to reverse it. That isn't quite how the Tadaka talisman works, Willow. The necromantic power was in the necromancer. The talisman is charged with magical energies that allow the wearer to focus and magnify his or her mystical abilities. It is a potent tool for witchcraft, but I'm afraid that it can also prove quite dangerous. Unless properly controlled, the talisman's power can corrupt the wearer. I'm not entirely convinced that you're ready to handle so powerful a tool. However, in light of recent events, it may be prudent for you to begin training with it immediately. With my supervision, of course. Of course. Gotta keep me from going to the dark side. Or just, you know, turning everyone into pigs and making the There's a listen. lot of this game okay. left. I think there's like two whole levels research. left. I'm gonna go see Angel. If anyone can figure out why Spike's back in Sunnydale, it'll be him. Sure. That ought to be constructive. Time well spent. Provided you don't, you know, succumb to temptation and turn him evil again. Now, Cordelia, we're all... Cordelia's mic is peaking. <laughs> and with reason. But you well know it's far more complicated than that. I just know I can never spend that much time with him. Or anyone else who might suddenly decide to kill me in my sleep. And yet you're here with us. Imagine that. Look, while everyone... Why didn't this Willow supervision extend it to the show? Giles, bro. That so did not Giles is like, Willow, don't use magic. Willow's like, all right. And she's practicing magic, and he's like, stop using magic. And she's like, all right. And then she's getting better at it. He's like, well, I suppose it's okay. He's like, well, I suppose it, it, it's okay if you use magic, Willow, just as long as it, it doesn't get out of hand. And, 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 and then she becomes better than him at magic? Well, actually, even that's debatable. Shut off to the lair of your broody Jekyll and Hyde demon lover in the middle of a crisis. <sighs> Talk about priorities. They also the did that party game. My family had Sanford always been a fan of party games. Yeah, Ape Escape pumped and primed. Tried to avoid decapitation. Good lord, could we please stay out of the librarian's office? And what happened to my antique letter opener? I'd always assumed that one of the Fraxis demons took it, but perhaps I don't want to know. Hello, what's up, Drake? Just try to make yourself useful, Cordelia. Are you sure we need to involve tall, dark, and brooding? If anyone can predict what Spike will do, it's Angel. Is he the good angel or the bad angel this week? Sometimes I forget. Not helpful, Zand. Hitting the Zand? Point, that's helpful. Actually, I've developed this bizarre narcolepsy. I read about dusty old magic, just fall right to sleep. Once again, I believe it's necessary to widen your knowledge of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Please read this and begin practicing these new techniques immediately. Okay, but at this point, I think I have a right to know. Just... How many of these pages you got? <laughs> and again, though, all those moves are there at the beginning. If you know the combos and inputs, you can do did them. Did you bring back any crystals? I was a little busy, but I did bring you a little something. By the strength of the emanation of Godola and the glory of Hecate, let that of mine be that of thine. Let the vitality held within be now released, transferred to thee. Wow, what a rush. Thanks, Will. It's in my hand. Okay. If nobody, I can't. You. Oh yeah, you have to talk to her twice. I believe there's a. T Whoa. I also like that they got the library accurate. How often do we see the front desk? It's always usually shot like this. I 
are you, Drake? Why? Uh. Also, SSX. Do you remember that game series? That one was pretty dope. I miss games like that. Angel's Mansion. All right, here we go. Because I'm remembering there was a level after this where it like took me forever. Angel? And home? someone said uh, demisexual, and, and then someone referred to Demi Lovato. You have to get out of here. Angel, what is it? What's wrong? Get out while you can. It's Snowboarding one? Me. Yeah. You'll be the only one who can save me. How about I just save you now? Whoa. Looks like that screaming blue meanie threw up some kind of magical barrier in front of the door. Time to thrash first, ask questions later. She said out loud. You think you can take me? Come on, kick my ass. I wore out our copy on Nintendo 64. SSX was on the Nintendo 64? No way. Nah, I don't think that was on 64. Can't carry any more stakes. Is this a vampire? It is a vampire. <laughs> Let's just jump on Angel's bed. Could come in handy. What snowboarding game was on the Nintendo 64? You are right. SSX was on PS2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Locked. Wait a sec. Angel said some of the doors in the mansion had locks that use an archaic security system. Question is, how do we modern folk unlock them? So... I was thinking 1080. Yeah, gotcha. Because I remember there were snowboarding games on the N64, but it wasn't SSX. SSX is the best snowboarding game, though. Have you ever played it? Like, Tricky's really good. Which is the second one. Them walls look nasty. <laughs> he doesn't take care of the place. That's why in the show all we ever see is the inside. Also, yeah, this is a location from the show. How did Angel afford a mansion? Did he do the paperwork? Mighty Morphin Moss May <laughs> Mansion. <laughs> it transforms. It's like that thing I can never pronounce. The the Tartarus? Tardis? Suddenly, this so yeah, this level has sunlight. So I can go over here. Oh what? What is that move? Garden 
it's like slowly coming back to me what to do in this game. Also, Jonathan, how you feeling? I know you weren't able to see your therapist today. Must be some way to open this. Must be some way to open this. Oh. Game almost crashed. Oh no, no. Uh, Saint made a little Dark Age edit of the Saints Row series. Uh, Saint? Who's Saint? Do people honestly think the early games are the Dark Age? Unless they mean like now is the dark age. Music to my ears. A Saints Row YouTuber, a decent one too, uh, Saint. It just goes by Saint. I must have seen their videos. I must have seen their shorts, I believe, but not the any of their full videos. Pain, not in a good way. Get up, get up, get up. Guess we should stay home tonight. Mighty weapon, even for the strongest heroes. What? A rake? You think you can take me? Come on, kick my ass. This looks much clearer on the stream footage than it does for me right now. When someone makes a little Dark Age edit, it usually means the game in question is dead or depressing. Such a Saints Row and Postal. Oh, it's so sad. Holy water. This is where we are with our favorite, uh, like, franchise, dude. I just dropped my devil's lettuce all over the floor, man. Devil... Devil's lettuce. Your weed? <laughs> Semi adorable. <gasps> are you are you one of the bad kids? <laughs> Pull my devil. <laughs> Pull my devil lettuce. Embrace the ganja that's within me. No hiding in the smoke show anymore. <laughs> when this wacky tobacco consumes me, nothing can save you, and there's no way out. <laughs> song is so good. All of this locks. weed going through your head. Angel said some of the doors in the locks, but using archaic security. Lungs on fire, veins burning red. Frustration is getting bigger. Or hang on. <laughs> Frustration is getting janky. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> or wait, what was it? Lettuce? What, what rhymes with lettuce? Don't budge. DMC songs are always bangers. Yes, they are. Do you know how hard that is to clean up? No, and I hope I never have to. <laughs> I don't I don't smoke anything. But hey, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not uh, Officer Janiac. It's like, yes, it was it was her. 
Officer, it was her. She's the one who's been bringing it to school. <laughs> I ain't no snitch. Snitch Niak. Uh uh. Where do I go? This level's weird. Stop making me laugh while smoking. <laughs> I'm good at joke. Stop smoking while I'm making you laugh. It's a very simple solution. I don't know why you haven't thought of this. You can't smoke while you watch me. It doesn't work. You can't smoke one every morning and one every day. Then a couple more to make the blues go away. Don't smoke one to pass the time. One to play Xbox, another one when you're watching Boston Red Sox. One before dinner, one after lunch. Sometimes you forget things that don't matter much. A couple in the evening and one just before bed. That can't be your recipe for never feeling sad, sad, sad. It's a good song, uh, never feeling sad. It's funny, like I don't smoke, like it, I, I don't smoke, right? How come people made like some of the most creative songs about weed? Like, what's, what's that all about? <laughs> Deputy Janiac. Uh, I only started when I got sick, so... Oh, I got you. Look, as I said, I'm not judging you, Semi. Enviro takedown in three, two, one. Nice timing. You know, I actually can't imagine you as a cop. It's the glasses. Always the glasses! <laughs> yeah, uh, do you know why I pulled you over, ma'am? It's because I want your number. Do you want this ticket or not? <laughs> it's like, now there's an easy way to get out of this ticket. Nah, I wouldn't be that creepy. I wouldn't be that creepy. I don't know, just when I think of cops, I... Weed is medicine to me, uh, but I do see why non-sick people smoke too. I mean, hey man. I... I've never... It, you know, it's funny. My whole thing, like, here's my whole thing. Here's my whole thing with weed, okay? Because, like, I don't smoke it, and here's why. Because it makes you, like, un... what's the word? Unmotivated. Right? And, like, some people need that to calm down and, like, for the sake of their body. Like, I, I know, like, really hyperactive people where that helps them. But then it's, like, it can slow down the progress of some things. And, like, I, I mean, I work with people that smoke, but they don't, like, and, and like, there's no issue because they don't smoke on the job, obviously. So obviously, like, someone who smokes can be a contributing member to society, but, like, it is weird how, like, I find a, some people have, like, a reliance on it, which is just, it's true of anything, really. Oh my, oh, Molly Wop! I was not paying attention to my health. That did nothing. Take out. Die. It's one. Two. Oh, he's on the. He's on the. Oh, I can't stake him because he's on. Oh. Go, Buffy. Go. Go, go! Go, Johnny, go! Go! Uh, oh, I forgot to tell you, I've been without nicotine to two months now. For two months now. I'm very happy for you, Semi. That's good. Yeah, Cheesy Dip Oreo, how are you? Wait, a minute? I recognize that name. Sparkly thingy. To add to my are you the Buffy streamer? Things. Nah, I don't think- I don't think that's you. How are you, though? Nonetheless. Where did we meet, dear friend?
I know I'm going to need this, so I'm going to break this now. Unless I can't. Yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> I was vaping every uh, five minutes at the highest level of nicotine allowed. Jeez. I'm, I'm glad you you kicked the habit. It's not easy to do, honestly. I'm good. I got COVID, so can't really get cheese or Oreos. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. Uh, when'd you get COVID? Hope you're all right, man. Also, where did we meet? What game was it? I tried blocking. I tried. I tried blocking. This is my town. Sunlight. Uh, yesterday. Yesterday? I think you mean, uh, Saturday with the Saints Row stream, right? Yeah, uh, I might play more later with my best friend, because we wanted to play co-op, but it wouldn't let us play co-op. God forbid you want to play the game, am I right? Co-op. Yeah. After this level, I might switch because I know the next level, it takes forever to finish and it's boring. Where you have to climb up docks and I keep dying because I kept falling. I vividly remember that, so I'm not going to put you guys through that. Marcus, put some pants on. Let's, let's, it's, it's gaming time. Game it up. I see every day what smoking does, uh, thanks to my mom, so it's very obvious to me why I shouldn't. Dude, you and I have both have t had terrible experiences of smokers. Like, you you told me you dated a girl who smoked, and you were like, I can count on my- on one hand how many times I kissed her. It's like, word. Uh, but again, this isn't me judging. I want you guys to know, if you smoke, I'm not judging you. I'm not saying, you're dumb for smoking. I'm not saying, wow, how could you? Oh. That's the devil! Like, I'm not saying any of that. Uh, I'm just explaining why myself or even, like, Saints, Saints Flo might choose not to. Angel's training room. He's gotta be here. If not, hopefully there will be a way out. Uh, I started smoking when I was suicidal because, you know, I figured why not at that point, but I want to live now. That's beautiful. I'm glad that, at the very least, you're no longer suicidal. That's always a good thing. Some way to open this. Regardless of what what it took. You just break his windows. Sorry. <laughs> you can just break his windows. You can't win, Slayer. There's only one of you. There's an endless supply of us. Why are they giving me holy water? Look. Yeah, first last time uh, I gave a chance to a smoker. Yeah, man, like, especially if she's a chain smoker. Nah, man, can't do it. Let that be a lesson to you, or, you know, those who pass by your man's corpse. Uh, nice playing Mona the Vampire! Yeah, you're more likely to get stuck by, uh, struck by lightning and live than win the lottery. Interesting. I like the cool tattoos that lightning gives you. It's like God's way of giving you a little mark. <laughs> Can't win, Slayer. There's only one of you. There's an endless supply of us. Can't win, Slayer. There's only one of you. There's an endless supply of us. You can lose me. I'm right here. Uh, how are you, man? Today is hot. It is hot! I'm so sick of this bad weather, man. We're gonna play Saints Row later with me and Marcus. Oh, hey, what's up, Igor? Remember when Marcus and I played this game, dude? Remember this? Remember this game? I still need to get further off screen. There's, like, one more level and then we're where we are. So, what should I call this stream? I guess, like, 2.5? Or 3.5? Uh, how are y'all? Pretty good. I'm a casual smoker, but usually smoke with pipe. Ah, I don't smoke at all. Good to see you. How are y'all? It's good to see you, Igor. Mona the Vampire! 
check the mail, there's a ghoul and a man about a bone. Show us your fangs. Yay, Mona! Rob your cat! Rob your cape! Boogie man! There's no escape! Emma, Emma, Jimmy! Yo, that's, yeah. Mona the vampire, though. Americans won't know what that show is. <laughs> that is a Canadian show. Must be some way to open this. Show us your tang. No, sorry. I mean, it's show us your fangs. <laughs> Can't smoke due to COVID and asthma. Ah, word. You're saving a lot of money. Don't worry. Hey, one shot, no scope, no scope. You saw that? That was sick. I feel like a new slayer. I wish they could all be California girls. Hi, honey. I'm home. For the vampire. Oh, darn it. Okay. Stop. It's been a long time since I've seen Semi here. I know, and we're playing Buffy. Doesn't it, it's like a retro stream, but we have the new people here too. It's wild, dude. Also, I just want to say I love that I'm playing Buffy right now. I love this game. Wait, wait. No, stop, stop, stop hurting me. Fun fact: uh, me dad gave me uh, his old pipe. Hang on, I have to fight this girl. Just, just. Nope. Time to move on. Come here. Fine, I'll just kill her the old-fashioned way then. Never mind. <laughs> Gosh. Yo, it's I I say this all the time. It's the regular enemies that give you trouble in this game, and that's why it's hard. It's not really the bosses. If that was just a normal enemy. And she just demolished my health. Ugh. Not not me cabbages. What? Uh his old pipe that he got from a British sailor when he used to live in Malaysia. Interesting. Uh, I've been recovering from surgery. I'm glad to see you, uh, says Semi to Igor. I'm allergic to my favorite vegetable, Rip. I'm allergic to cabbage. Cabbage? I'm so sorry. Not my cabbage is uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. It was on a Buffy stream that the legendary Sayonara moment happened. I knew you'd remember that. I knew you'd remember that. Sayonara! Ni yeah, that was iconic. Uh, but we're going to play Saints Row... In a little bit. Let me just finish this level, and then uh, we'll play that. Is Marcus still here? Marcus is still alive? This is why they gave me holy water. Okay. I need to sanctify the crap out of that with some holy H2O. Please, please, please. Okay, good. So I don't have to fight that guy. What? Why didn't it open the first time? Game's racist, bro. Anyway. <laughs> Got it from my mom. Uh, tomato allergy. That's an interesting one. I've never heard of that before. I love the Buffy streams. I'm allergic to kiwi and mango. And most nuts. Except for peanuts and almonds and shellfish. Dude. Angel? How do you live? I love peanuts. Oh! Remember this boss? Do you guys remember this boss? This is, this is the boss that we're going to end the stream with. You remember this boss? Snake Lady? And I couldn't figure out how to kill her. Now that is just gross. Like this took me like an hour. Okay, hang on. Uh, except peanuts and shellfish. I'm allergic to peanuts and all nuts. Oh, what's up with peanut allergies, man? That how does that happen? 
You're just born with that? Is that genes? I used to be able to eat a ball of cabbage in one sitting. No way. I'm not allergic to any food, but I, I can't eat grapefruit because it will make my mood stabilizer not work properly. They tell you what you can't eat for that to work? Sup. Hey, Marcus. I can eat peanuts. I love peanut butter. Word. Okay, so... Loving the techno beat. Techno beat's coming in. What the bum? Look at my health. Look at my health. This game's cheating. Holy water. I'll combine it. Okay, so she's over there, which means I have to push this, right? Like, she's too fast. You know, it's funny, it's now that I'm realizing I may have made that fight a lot harder for me than I needed it to be. You can just beat her up. You can, you can just beat her up. You can, you can just, you can just do that. Wow. Do I have to, like, oh, shoot. Do you have to kill her with sunlight, though? Mistake? Ugh, come on. Get up. No, that's not what I wanted! I think, yeah, I think I need to kill her with the sunlight. Oh, push the bloody button! Push it. Buffy, 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 Buffy. Buffy. <sighs> push the button! Push the stupid button! At least you're invincible while that happens. Yes. Did it. First try. Angel. God, I was afraid that... Angel? What's wrong? Are you okay? No. But I will be, Slayer. I will be. <laughs> Let go of me! You won't be, Slayer. Uh, I can eat peanuts. I love peanuts. They're great. Somehow, sesame is not a problem. What? For you? Huh. I would kill for Oreos. I'm sorry you can't get them, man. Oreos are, are love. Oreos are life. Always love Oreo milkshakes. Uh, whoop her butt. Screw planning and strategy. Yeah, you can just beat her up. I didn't know that. Super soaker wet jet. Yeah, you put holy water in a uh, water gun. Sorry, no can do. Gotta fly. She jumps out the window. All right, Marcus. Okay, I remember you told us this game is canon. It's not, but you could, you could hypothesize how it would fit in the canon, because I like what it did for the master, like the lore of the master in season one, where Buffy. Oh, oh. Marcus, it's time. It's time. We're playing Saints Row. What? <laughs> Game crashed, man. Saints Row time. It's Satan. Saint-tin time. 